Had some offers uh, out of state, Division One assistant coach offers. My wife was um, was a true Rhode Islander. Uh, they don't really go very far, so uh, figured out real quick that that wasn't going to work by, by relocating, and um, so kind of end up here. Joe Augustine is entering his 30th season as the URI men's hockey team head coach. The former NHLer always had a love for the game, but never thought he would be the one behind the bench. My last year when I went to camp and I went without a contract, I uh, started having injury problems towards the end, and, and so my agent was a uh, Rhode Island guy and wanted to know if I wanted to coach high school, and actually was an assistant in high school for a couple of years, which was probably the best thing I ever did. I kind of... Uh, you know, got my feet wet there and, and um, started to, you know, gain some passion for coaching because when you're playing, it's not even a, it's not even a thought. Senior captain Phil Akermark has enjoyed playing for Augustine for four seasons now and thinks his time around the game has had a huge influence on the team and himself. Well, I think he just brings a lot of uh, experience. I mean, not only coaching, but he also played as well. So, I mean, for me personally, uh, he's, he also played defense, so... Um, brings a lot of insight for that and, and I think just him you know having coached over 30 years uh, I mean he knows what to do uh, I don't think he's changed much over the years and and I don't know why he should I mean he's been successful in the past so Augustine who won a national championship and two league coach of the year awards clinched 600 career wins last season with the team but he'd be the first to tell you that it was not a one-man effort. Uh, but the players, they play the games, you know, and you can do as much as you can, uh, X's and O's and systems and so forth, but they're the ones who have to perform on the ice. So it's really, the, the, the total number of wins is really an organizational, it's a program. I think he likes players that are more hardworking and uh, are willing to sacrifice things for the teammates rather than, uh, you know, dragging 10 players and score top shelf uh, I think he appreciates more the like hard working hard hitting very structured play I just like an honest day's work I just you know kind of uh, south side blue collar guy growing up in, in Chicago and uh, you know that's what we kind of learned growing up in our household so I mean that's kind of what we as a player that's what I brought to the game and I think I'd like to see people bring that and Augustine continues into his 30th season with the same love for the game and the same ultimate goal. I mean, all around, he just he lives for hockey. So I know when he leaves the rink here, he goes home and he just watches hockey. Uh, I think that's that's all he he ever cared about. So there's so much potential here. Uh, that's another reason I stayed. That um, everybody in the hockey world understands what we can have here and. Um, and just keep kind of working. You know, we, we work week to week to win games, but we also try to work to try to establish, to hopefully to make a move someday.